For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent forth his Son to seek that which is lost. And a man that has not put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ is lost. And without faith and belief in Jesus Christ, your eternity will be spent in hell. The only way a man can get to heaven is by the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. There is nothing else. Now the world and Satan and man would have you to believe man is okay, everything's great, everything's wonderful. When you die, that's it. But that's anywhere but from the truth. And the Bible tells Christians that we're to go into the world and preach the cross. We're to go in the world and preach upon that cross the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to scripture. You know, it's it's the love and charity of God that God has given himself and son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because in all actuality, God the creator, God made man. We're not a product of evolution. And God commanded the man, he says, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. One simple commandment. And man disobeyed, and he ate the fruit. Whatever that fruit is, we don't know. But we're here in a farmer's market at the beginning of the source of man in a garden. And to realize that man and his troubles came from a garden. And it came by rebelling against God. God said don't. And man did. And we're here in 2021. We're here at a farmer's market and there's plenty of produce. I'm here to tell you that the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you won't. You are no different from your grandpa Adam. God told Adam don't and he did. The preacher with the King James Bible tells you to do and you don't. It's still rebellion. 6,000 years and you're rebelling against God. And rebelling against God is a sin. 
And I don't need to talk about the evils of adultery. I don't need to talk about the evils of alcohol, tobacco. I can just talk about the evils of rebellion against the word of God. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And man will choose to ignore it. Man will choose to adhere to a religion. Man will turn to science and philosophy and all other kinds of nonsense and political. That's not what God told you to do. God that is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ that is God said he is the way. And when God Jesus Christ said he is the way, well that rules out the Baptist, that rules out the Catholic, that rules out the Methodist, that rules out the Jehovah Witness, that rules out the scientist because Jesus is the way. There is no other way but through God. And you've got to be forewarned for the Apostle Paul tells us there's another Jesus. You can have the worldly Jesus, you can have the satanic Jesus, but if you don't have the God Jesus Christ, there is no salvation. And to lay out the biblical Jesus Christ, he was born of a virgin. He was born of the nation of Israel, of the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the salvation of God, by God, through God, that you might get to heaven. In all actuality, you know, Jesus and the church epistles and Pauline epistles never tell you to go to church. There's a misconception of what church is. Now imagine a Baptist preacher getting up on, on, a, on a Saturday morning and telling you not to go to church. In the Bible, the church is the body of Christ, the body of believers that put their faith in Jesus Christ alone. And outside the assembly of the body of believers through Jesus Christ, there is no church. Your assembly of lost men going to the same place without Jesus Christ. Hell. And that the Bible says that Jesus says, go into the world and preach the gospel. And here I am again on a Saturday morning preaching the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And there's nothing new, that there's no enhancement, there's no improvement of what God has said for us to do. It's the same message carried about by the 12 apostles of the Lamb. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And one of the questions that people will ask, well, well, preacher, which church is correct? None of them. Listen, the Baptists have got their sins just as much as the Catholics. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sort of 
There are saved Baptists, there are saved Catholics, there are saved Methodists. The means of salvation is through Jesus Christ alone, not where you go on Sunday morning. It's what you've done with Jesus Christ. And you say, well, preacher, don't invite them to church. You may not make it to Sunday morning. And between the hours of right now and Sunday morning service, what if you were to die? Well, I invite them to the church. That's not salvation. Salvation is through Jesus Christ alone. Nothing, no one, no place else. It's all about what Jesus Christ has done. Listen, Paul writes to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 that there could be Satan in that pulpit you're going to today or tomorrow. Including the Baptist church. Don't think because a man gets up and, and holds a Bible he's correct. If you want more to believe to the proof of that, television, television evangelism. That's the biggest flop of the devil ever. Religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God approved. It is so simple, set forth by God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And then after you get saved, go to church and learn how to grow. But don't go to church for salvation. Don't run to church to go to heaven because the church is not the way to heaven. One denomination will say that Jesus is not God. That's a heresy. One denomination said, well, if you eat and drink Jesus, you might get to heaven. That's a heresy. Another denomination said, well, if you go in the water and you're immersed, that's a heresy. Another denomination said, well, we sprinkle you. That's a heresy. Another denomination said, well, if you bring your baby and you get godfathers and godparents and we sprinkle your baby, that's a heresy. What does the Bible say? Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Believe, see that word again, believe. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I ain't preaching. I have believed with my heart. And because I am overjoyed and overthrilled what Jesus Christ has done in my life, I can't shut up about Jesus. There are some people out there, they speak about their sports, their team, their sports, their team, their favorite race car driver. I speak of my lips to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord willing, April 25th, tomorrow, on April 25th, 1987, I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that's 34 years. 33, 34 years, maybe 35. On April 26, I went to someone and preached hell. 33, 34, 35 years I've been preaching and teaching and speaking about what Jesus Christ has done for me. 
on April 24th and going back, I was a Polish Roman Catholic and I had no hope in the Pope and I would have died and gone to hell in the Catholic Church religion. For April 25th, 1987, I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't receive a church. I didn't receive anything but my Savior, God, Jesus Christ. And that moment I received the Lord Jesus Christ by faith and by belief, I became a member of the church. I became the body of Christ through faith and belief in Jesus. I mean, church membership is a joke because you are put into the body of Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ. You're not voted into the member of the body of Christ. You are put into the body of Christ through the blood and the finished work of Jesus. Only a pastor and deacons would vote you in as a member of the Baptist church or any other nonsense. Anti-scriptural. And yet, what we bring to you is the scriptures is, for God so loved the world, there's love. Everybody wants the love of God. God is love, 1 John. For God so loved the world. The love of God, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave, giving, and I ain't talking about money and tithing, giving, I'm talking about God giving himself, for God so loved the world that he, God, gave. You go to your average church today, give, 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 and the people are sick and tired of hearing give, 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 give. Imagine a Baptist preacher preaching that. Well, if we don't give money to our ministry, we're going to go off the air. Go off the air and shut up. And get on the street corner and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Listen, many churches, pastors, and Christians hate what I have to say, but it's the truth. And the truth hurts. And I will tell you the truth that your religion cannot get you to heaven. Only by the faith and belief in what Jesus Christ done. Not what you can do, not what man can do, what Jesus, who is God, has done for you upon Calvary's Mount. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. Now, a lot of your denominations believe that. A lot of your denominations believe the virgin birth of Jesus. And that he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. Listen, if you have put your faith and trust in nothing but Jesus Christ, you're saved. You're just as saved as I am. You may be in the wrong congregation, but that's between you and God. But you're not going to walk up to the holy, almighty God and God, see how great I am. Oh, no, you're not. When you walk up to God and say, God, look how great I am, God will say, depart from me, you work with iniquity. I never knew you. And if God doesn't know who you are, you're not going to his heaven. The only way God's going to know you is your name, written in the Lamb's book of life, through the blood of the Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world, and that's Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Tell the Pope to go take a jump in the lake of hell. I came out of that pulpit tree. I came out of that nonsense. It can't save you. And it won't save you. It is the finished work. 
It is the only work. It is the gospel of God through Jesus Christ. Mary can't do nothing for you. I'm sorry. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. Mary don't fit. She's a female. Scripture says Mary can't save you. But certain religions take the scripture and say, who cares about it? We've got tradition. And Jesus told that, that religious people of his time, you make the word of God of no effect through your tradition. When we preach Jesus Christ, we're not preaching tradition, we're preaching the Bible. The King James 1611 Bible. That dying thief on the cross, Jesus said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. He did not go to church. He was not on the membership rolls of church. He did not tithe. He was not baptized. And he is in glory today. Ask your preacher, pastor about that one. Some think when the roll is called up yonder, it's a church roll. It's not a church roll. It's the roll of the names that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And if anybody were to ask you, how are you getting to heaven? If the answer is not Jesus Christ, you're not going. Well, preacher, I'm good. You're not good enough. There is none that do as good. No, not one. Oh, preacher, I give. For God so loved the world that he gave. You're going to help give God. Well, preacher, I go to church. What church? I dare you to find a Baptist church in the Bible. I dare you to find a Catholic church in the Bible. Well, we're non denominational. Your denomination. Your denomination is non denomination. But there is nothing, no one, anything that can't, that can save you. But the finished work of Jesus Christ. When Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father. Well, I'm going to come through Mary. You're violating the scriptures. I was a deacon. You're violating the scriptures. And when you violate the scriptures, you're not going to please God. When it's so simple for the Christian is told, Go in all the world and preach. You know, we'll go to the great commission of the gospel of Matthew. Yep, Matthew is a Jewish book, and there's no preaching of the gospel in the, in the gospel of Matthew. Now, Mark, on the other hand, now let's look at Mark for a moment. Paul said he is good and profitable for service. Mark says that Jesus said, go in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to scriptures. There is no church attendance. There is no buying Girl Scout cookies, there's no being good. It is the gospel of Jesus Christ, or it's hell.
There are good church faithful members who are and will be in hell for all eternity. And they sat in a pew. And yet that dying thief did not sit in a pew. That dying thief never entered into a church house, and yet he's in heaven today. Listen, if you're lost and you hate my preaching, the Baptists would love to tar and feather me too, okay? The Baptists are just unhappy with my preaching as anybody else. Thank you, amen. That dying thief never was baptized. I know a church here in Daytona Beach, they will bring people all around to be baptized in the Atlantic Ocean. They believe they're one of the first, something like that. Listen, any baptism for salvation is a baptism in the Dead Sea. It ain't going to save you. You've got to come to the cross of Jesus. And you've got to believe what Jesus done on that cross was for you. And that there is nothing you can do. Now I know some morons... That go through, they go around carrying a cross. That's not salvation. I bear a cross across America. That, and you die and go to hell. And I think it's funny, some of those idiots, they have a cross and it's on wheels. They drag it on wheels. I don't see anywhere in the scriptures where the cross of Jesus had wheels. Hey, I'm just trying to teach you the truth. I'm just trying to get to know the truth. I'm trying to get you to know Jesus. And I'm going to put heresies down. I'm going to kick heresies. I'm going to kick religion. I'm going to kick. I'm going to kick. I'm going to kick. I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. I got a copy of the Bible over here, King James. Come on over. I will show you the passages I am quoting from. There is my Bible in a zippered cover. I will open the scriptures with you and show you where I preach year after year after year. And we've been here six or seven years, and it's the same message. Only Jesus saved. Without the blood of Jesus, you're not safe. You don't have the blessed hope, and without Jesus, you're hopeless. Come and know. Come and believe on the Lord Jesus. It's that simple. You can do it right here in Mongolia and Wall Street. You can do it right in the middle of and say, God, that Jesus that did this preaching, he done that for me? That's what I got to believe in? Well, praise the Lord God, I want to believe on that Jesus. And guess what? There's no altar, there's no church, and you can have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life through faith and belief in Jesus. Now I advise you, after salvation, get yourself in a Bible, King James Bible believing church, but they're rare. Without the nonsense and without the carnality and without the, 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 the worldliness. That's a rarity. First of all, before you come to church, come to Jesus. That's salvation. I mean, it's been a year now. All right? Church, church, church. Well, has coronavirus closed your church doors? Was your church closed because of COVID-19? Well, if that's your salvation, you're in trouble. You 
say, well, preacher, I don't go to church because my church doors are closed. That's why you don't believe in the church. Jesus never closes. Well, you know, preacher, we got church, we got church live stream. You mean two years ago when your preacher was preaching against Facebook and now he's on Facebook preaching? I know many preachers that were against Facebook and now they're on Facebook. Oh, hypocrite. How about just put your faith and trust in Jesus and Jesus alone? Who knows, maybe you'll be the last Christian who would ever to be saved and that moment you trust Jesus, the rapture happens. Oh, well, wait a minute, Jesus. I can't go up in the rapture. I didn't go to church. Oh, the dying thief. At no point did Jesus stop Calvary. Say, wait a minute, hold it, Romans, Jewish people, hold on. We've got to stop Calvary because this guy over here, this repentant thief, he's got to be baptized, he's got to be in church membership, and he's got to give his time. No, that never happened. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. And for you today, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's so simple, even a child can get saved. Man and Satan makes it hard. April 25th, 1987, I knelt down at my grandmother's coffee table. Imagine that, a coffee table. Preacher, did you get saved at a church altar? No, I got saved at a coffee table. Now, if that's not American, what is it? My only hope was through the finished work of Jesus Christ and nothing. On April 25th, 1987, my name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. April 24th, 2021, your name could be written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. You can do it right where you are right now. We don't have to make a big show out of it. Just say, hey, God, that, that Jesus that that preacher is preaching about. I want to believe also. I want to be saved. I want to go to heaven through Jesus. Now, was it that hard? Well, I didn't partake of the sacrament. Sacrament is like saccharin. It's going to kill you. You don't want something that's going to kill you. You want life. And Jesus said, I am the light. Jesus said, I am the light. I am the water. I am the bread. You know, all the needs that man needs, air, food, water, light, all is in Jesus. Try living without light. It ain't gonna happen. Try living without food. It ain't gonna happen. Try living without water. It ain't gonna happen. Try living without breath. It ain't gonna happen. Try living eternal life without Jesus. It ain't gonna happen. Ain't hell. And you'll spend all eternity in hell because you've chosen to reject God, Jesus Christ. We 
well, I didn't reject God. I didn't reject Jesus. You have not believed. And if you have, amen. Well, my particular, no, it's not your particular. It's all in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. God, who's almighty and the creator, has set forth the standard. And the standard of going to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Anything else is hell. And I know people don't like hell, they don't like the preaching, they don't even preach hell today, the cowards. Jesus preached more about hell. Your original hellfire damnation preacher was Jesus Christ. you want to go to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now, if you want to go to hell, I advise you not to, but if you want to go to hell, do anything, everything, but just reject Jesus Christ. Religion is the quickest way to hell. Doing good is the quickest way to hell. But once you enter heaven through Jesus, once you enter hell by rejecting Jesus, there's no coming out. In all actuality, there's really no death. The Bible says for the Christian, when we pass on, when we die, we're absent from the body and present with the Lord. All right, our physical body's dead, but we're with the Lord through the faith and trust in Jesus. A lost man will die, and the Bible said in hell he'll lift up his eyes. You're either going to, to, to close your eyes to this world and see Jesus, or you're going to close your eyes to this world and see torment. And the King James Bible believing preacher says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That is the means of salvation. There is nothing, no, not, nil, nada, else besides Jesus. There are Baptists in hell. There are Catholics in hell. There are good church people in hell. There are good people in hell. There are people in hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. That's the difference. When you reject Jesus who is God, God's going to reject you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Those are harsh words by God. Jesus came to seek that which is lost. 
And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you are lost. You are without hope. And that can change right now. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. 